Hey folks, I just installed this skimmer on my pool and I am so glad I did. It is cleaning the surface of the pool way more quickly than me spend 10-15 minutes every day doing it. It took me no more than an hour. It's that easy, didn't need a helper, no special tools, and came out so clean, no leaks. The last thing I did on the job was cutting the hole in the liner. So anyone can do this, I'm gonna show you how. The first step is decide where you're gonna put this thing. I need to keep it close enough to my pump and I'm gonna use this existing hose so I'm going to put it right around here. So on the inside of the pool, you can see that I've drained the pool some just so that I'm not working in the water here. So I want to get it so that the water line of the where it normally is, and you can see I've got this stain here, is right around the middle of this. So if I'm a little bit high, it's still sucking the water and, and I have some room for the water level to go low. So I'm going to put it right about here. Now on the outside of the pool, you want to make sure that you don't go so high that you're into this part. You want it on the flat wall here. So I'm going to line it up and I'm going to take a marker on the inside of the pool and uh, mark where I'm going to cut it. And I'm just doing this so that I have it aligned straight up and down and I know where I am when I put the rest of it together. The rubber gasket that goes in the liner, you'll see that it comes with what they call a butterfly gasket. It's got these two flanges. And there's a lot of different ways that people do this and the instructions aren't very clear. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a razor blade knife, I'm gonna cut this so I've got two separate gaskets. I'm gonna have one on the inside, one on the outside. That way I don't have to cut the hole in the liner yet. Now I've got this gasket split in two. I'm gonna get ready to put this on the inside and notice that the whole pattern is different on the sides as it is on the bottom and top. So I'm gonna get this lined up top and bottom. These wider holes I'm gonna make on the top, those go to the top. So I'm gonna get the gasket lined up here. Then I'm gonna take a little sharp punch and once I've got this on the inside, I'm going to punch a hole through the pool liner. I've got the gasket where I want it. I'm going to get this lined up with the mark I made earlier so I know where I want to put it. Then I'm going to punch a couple of holes here through the top. And I got one through. That's with a screw hole. Okay. Now your kit is going to come with two different types of screws so it's important that you get these countersink screws because they're going to go in these holes. You see how they're going to fit in there. Don't use this. This is for a different part of the, the system that we're not going to use. Now since this screw is not pointy and it's much bigger than the little tiny hole that I punctured. I'm gonna take a drill bit here. This happens to be 1164, so it's not a special size or anything like that, but I'm gonna make these holes a little bit bigger so I can get these through the liner. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, put a screw here through, and I'm gonna get it into the first spot here. It happens to be the top right corner. So that'll hold it in place. I'm gonna take a second screw, make sure I've got the gasket lined up. And I'm gonna stick that to the second hole that I punctured in there. I test fitted these holes against the, the main body and they work. So what I'm gonna do here, I've got everything lined up how I want it. I've got the gasket fitting perfectly through all the holes. So at this point, I'm going to puncture more holes in each spot. Now 
Now that all those holes are punctured through, I'm gonna take this drill and just make them, make sure you know which ones are holes. I'm just gonna go through there. Just make sure they're big enough for the screws. Now with all the holes bigger, I'm going to put screws, just, I don't have anything on the outside of the pool yet, but I'm just going to get these screws through the holes in the liner. And that 11 64th drill bit is just a little bit too small, so it takes some force to push these through. I'm just going to put these all the way, make sure you get them, make sure your liners, your uh, gasket is lined up, just find that hole. All right, got them all in, and you can see on the outside here, it's just the screws coming through. Now all the screws are sticking through, I'm gonna take the gasket that I cut in half, and I'm gonna just place this over each of the screws. Then I'm gonna take the main body here, and with a manual screwdriver here, handheld screwdriver, I'm just gonna get these screws started, and I don't wanna punch them back into the pool But because the hole that I cut in the liner is so tight, these screws are staying in there pretty good. I'm just going to get them all started by hand here. You don't want to tighten them just too hard. Just tighten them a little bit each just to get them started in the, in the outside unit over here. Now, if you'll look on the inside here, I've got my hand in here and I'm guiding the screws into the right spot. I can feel the screw here and I can move it up and down a little bit just with my fingertips just to make sure I get them started here. Now I'm going to take my drill and I'm going to just go around clockwise or counterclockwise just tighten them up a little bit at a time all the way around a little bit not not each all the way all not going to tighten each one all the way I'm just going a little bit at a time so I don't break anything. Yeah, you can still see, still see I got a gap. So what I'm doing now is I'm pushing on the outside piece, pushing inside. I'm gonna keep doing this until it's flush. I went a little bit of time, probably five or six times all the way around on each. One, 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 about six times went around. Now I'm gonna do by hand the last little bit here. Just make them nice and snug. Guys, it's nice and snug and I'm just feeling all the way around. It feels really tight all the way around. I didn't break it, I didn't overdo it, but I think that's good, it's nice and tight. Now I wanna get ready to hook up the, the pipe so that this can attach to the bottom of the skimmer. This is what came with it, but this is too big for this hose that came with this. This is a best way pool, but they're all about the same. This is an inch and a half. So I got this at Lowe's it's an inch and a quarter here, an inch and a half there, but it, it screws right into here. And before I screw this in, I'm gonna put some Teflon tape around it just to keep it from leaking around those threads. Now with Teflon tape on it, let's screw this in. Now if your pool's like mine, you've got these things. So I've got a, a cap that came with it. I'm gonna take this hose off I'm going to take the hose clamp off, just loosen it up some. Then inside I'm going to take this piece out, as soon as I get that out I'm going to jam this plug in there so the water doesn't gush out everywhere. Now I'm going to quickly hook this up to that because the water's still coming through there. And then tighten my hose clamp. All right, now the scariest part of all, cutting the liner. I've got a really sharp blade here, got a brand new one, so let's go to the inside here. And then just, just inside the gasket here. Eee. It's cutting nicely, I'm gonna cut it out.
One of the last steps is putting in this door. This just slides in here and there's two holes in the front for it. So there we go. Last part of this is the basket, the filter basket. But because there's so much small stuff that would get into the, the pump filter, I'm going to use these little socks that I bought off of Amazon to line the, the basket here. I might have to put a rock or two in the bottom of it to keep it from floating up. But this will catch a lot of the debris and then I can just empty this out periodically. All right, all the hard work is done. You can see that it's, it's hooked up. It looks like a regular skimmer. I'm going to fill the pool up the rest of the way and we're going to try this thing out, see if it's working like advertised. It's the next afternoon, got the pool filled up how I wanted it, and this thing's working out great. There are no leaks around here. It's a nice, tight, dry installation. This thing is functioning like I wanted it to do. I did a little experiment here. I wanted to see what would happen if I plugged that other inlet port to the pump and just use this. Well, I can tell you that I just did that, and I'm getting five to ten times the amount of surface water coming into this skimmer than when I had that one open because now all of the water is coming through the skimmer into the filter. It's working out great. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. It's really easy to do. Like and subscribe. Good luck. Thanks for watching.